you guys doing? Welcome back to Polassi. How are you all doing today? Welcome back to the Pokemon Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we lost two more team members. Lost two more team members in the last episode, but we've got a replacement for each one of them on the team right now. We're about to do a quick team recap. How are you guys doing? Here's your team recap. Hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and ring that notification bell to stay notified on when uploads go live here is Shell Shock the Blastoise, one of our newest team members. Shell Armor, blocking critical hits. I do believe Shell Armor is actually what uh, what Dynamax Blastoise or Gigantamax Blastoise actually has in Sword and Shield. If I do not uh, mistake myself, Relax Nature, Mystic Water, Surf Bite, Rain Ants Protect. Not the greatest move set yet, but he will uh, he will get there. He's working on himself. Don't you worry. Next we've got Jawbreak of the Golem, Shell Armor. Naughty Nature, Amulet Coin, Still, Rock Blast, Magnitude, Strength, and Vital Throw. Then we got Silver the Lugia. Silver has Silver Powder with Silver Wind. Shed Skin. There's the Silver Wind right there. Arrow Blast, Sidebeam, and Surf as well. Stormfly the Salamence, Bright Powder. Jeez, I have the hiccups. It's not fun. Quirky Nature, Minus Ability with Fly, Bite, Headbutt, Dragon Breath. Next, we got Venusaur. Asparagus, the Venusaur, Miracle Seed, Magnet Pull, Steel Types cannot go anywhere, Lonely Nature, Razor Leaf, Hydro Pump, Strength and Sleep Powder, and then a Matarasu Charcoal, holding Nine Tails with Synchronize, Naive Nature with Ember, Frenzy Plant, Confuse Rain, Fire Blast. And now we're going to finally, in this episode, get to what I promised you guys in the last two times. That we ended episodes off is we're finally gonna start making our way to take our team out. Paul, as you can see, there's not much here, but this is my home. Thank you for all that you've done. This is my token of appreciation. It's the hidden move dive. No need to be shy, you've earned this HM. So, we're actually gonna teach dive to Blastoise. While you're using Surf, you should notice dark patches of water. Use Dive if you come to deep water you like like it. You'll drop to the sea floor. When you want to come back up, use Dive again. In some places, it won't be possible to, for you, you to resurface, though. Okay, so, let's grab Dive. And teach Dive to Blastoise. Silver could learn it too, but... We're gonna teach this Shell Shock. Because this move set again, he was he's working on himself. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of Protect. Because I feel like Rain Dance can actually help us with the uh, dive and surf. So, for now, we'll do this and see if this is uh, anything better. We could teach him strength as well, but we might hold off to see to see what else he does, how he how he's looking. Uh, speaking of how we're looking, uh, item wise, I do want to sell some stuff. We're gonna have to go to the PC boxes and uh, deposit some stuff. Just before we continue, because we're going to be picking up some items while we're away. And we won't be coming back to a PC for a while. So I do not want to be stuck with the inability to get items. So that's that. Let's go, uh, before we head off. I know, a lot of a lot of stuff going on early on this episode. I know. Uh, just trying to tie up any loose ends real quick, guys. I'm just trying to tie up any loose ends. I don't want to be stuck having an issue where we, like I said, we get to the, uh, under the ocean and we just, uh, we have stuff to take care of. I don't want to, I don't want to be there. So the move to your house is here. So let's go teach somebody something. It's, uh, a bit of a sticky wicket, as they say. So we can't use any of our heart skills. Nothing worth our time. So, sorry I wasted your time. But, I thought we had to leave it in just because I thought maybe we could, you know, strike lightning in a bottle. And find a move that we can use to help us out. But, instead, let's just hop out of the water. Now that we've got Dive at our disposal. And dive underneath the water. No. And let's just surf. Under the ocean. I love this. This area, this music, it's great. It's so soothing. It's just so soothing. Now, there are a lot of trainers we could still take on. Um, 
above the water as well, and an Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire that are actually training underneath the water as well. That we could, um... Smoke Ball, sweet. That we could do, uh, battle, but not in this game. Not in this game. There are no trainers underwater in this game. We just need to try to find the, uh, right way to go. And the more we keep surfing down, we will find this little, this little hole here. And here's the Submarine Explorer 1, printed on the hull. So, let's use Dive. Let's surf up into the seafloor cavern. Oh, what am I looking, how am I looking like at balls? Oh, plenty of Ultra Balls. Sweet. Plenty of Ultra Balls. So here is our seafloor cavern encounter. Uh, let's get it. Let's get it! Let's get it! Please be good! Ah! Oh, it's a Torchic again! Oh, guys! I can't burn this. I can't. It's dupes! It's species! But I need that fire type! I need it. I need it! I need it! What did I tell you guys? What did I tell you? We will get through this episode with nine tails, but if I catch this thing, which I will, don't be playing games with me. Don't be playing games with me. Uh, sleep powder. Hit the sleep powder, please. Do not be playing games with me, Torchic. I tell you something right now. Lock it up. Lock this thing up. Lock this thing up. I can't weaken this thing. Um. You want to be in the luxury ball, don't you? You want to be in the luxury ball, don't you? Luxury ball. Stay in there. Yes! Torchic in the luxury ball! Yeah! That's, that's kind of like bag of jelly. Bag of jello. Uh, <laughs> Alright. This is not Buffalo. This is not going to be Buffalo. Buffalo died, okay? This is the new Torchic. Alright. McKicken will be added to the PC and McKicken will be added to the team at the next possible time. Okay. Rock smash. I did not come prepared. I did not come as prepared as I thought I did. Alright. Who do we teach this to that we can just, uh... Temporarily teach this to. Um... Because I can take it off of him. We can get rid of Rain Dance for now. And I have heart skills. If he learns something while we're in here, I can't learn, I can't teach it to him, but I do have the heart skills. So if he does learn something, we can do that. That'll be our plan. So let's just rock this, rock these bowlers out of the way. That was actually a hit, a, a, not a miss encounter. That was powerful. Regardless of whether it's dupes or not, that was what we needed. And another fire type, another redemption. We cannot let that one die. Okay, we cannot let it die. I know this thing's got sheer cold. I know it's got it. Question is, is it gonna use it? Question is, do I stay in? Uh, I resist water and ice. I actually have ice weakness, ice weakness, ice weakness. I actually am very weak to ice. It all, all, all said, after all said and done, I am very weak to ice. Um, I think I have to stay in. And rush just really hope. Okay, you went to sleep, that's fine. Spam that, bite, knock it out. Goodbye. That dugong is actually going to cause me problems. If I see any more of those ice types, that's going to actually cause me major problemo. No... No likey. Paul, no me gusta. <laughs> no me... No me gusta dugong. Okay. Ledian, I am going to rock your world. 
Shell shock. You surf attack now. All right. Come on. Get out of here, you bug. All right. Luckily, again, this is going to hopefully be an episode of not many, uh, not many Pokemon on these trainers' teams. So hopefully we're good. Uh, more big boulders. I, th I thought I knew the way to get through here. And I, I could be wrong. Another swamp. Rub it in my face, why don't you? Rub it in my face. Can't even get over this. This is like too many swampers. Too many swampers. Shell shock. I am just gonna bite this Alakazam's face off. Straight to the underworld with you, Alakazam. Make sure to put those spoons in the dishwasher though before you go. Um Level 36 Alakazam. Using Psychic on my Blastoise. I was worried for a second that, that would do a lot more than it did. I had a little voice in the back of my head say, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, and then of course everything's all good. Um, okay. Just making sure my audio was good. Uh, where are you? Where are you? And who do you think you are? I think I am uh, your boss. Uh, I also think I'm the guy that's gonna take, take you down and uh, kick your MNF and ass. Okay, that's who I think I am. Oh, and I'm gonna just surf you, by the way, too. Uh, watch out for the Riptides. Uh, Riptides are not good, they'll take you away. Your Absol just got sucked up by the Riptide. How about that? Hmm? Hmm? All right, level 43. Shellshock's probably good to be switched out now. Uh, yeah. Level 43 is a little bit higher than I'd like. Not really. He's actually on par. Um, let's get Asparagus some time. Let's see what Asparagus can do. Uh, I think I go in that little hut, but I don't know for sure. Uh, I think I go in here. All these, all these little, like, doorways are, like, they lead to really weird spots. Nope, that's definitely not the right way. Definitely not the right way. The way I do need to definitely go is out this door here, which is what I kind of thought. And now we're in this little room with this little, like, puzzle. Oh, a Yanma! Oh, I would have taken a Yanma. I don't know how good Yanma actually is in this game, but I probably would have found a way to use it. Um, did I screw up this puzzle already? I think I did. Yeah, I think I already screwed this puzzle up. Let's see. All right. Rock that boulder there. Come this way, not... Show me all my dead mods. Thank you. All right. Let me uh, throw some repels up. I don't want to see any more of my dead mods. I don't want to see any more of my dead mods, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm starting to really feel bad now that all these mods, all these Pokemon have died in my, by my own hands. So, oh, fun. Now we're talking Riptides, right? Now we're talking Currents. Uh, I think we go this way. I think we go again to the left. To the right, I mean. And then, then left. And that'll take us up and around. Dump us off over here. Go through this hole here. And then we got this. You need to take out the trainers. And uh, Ruby and Sapphire, I think they made you do the rock puzzle, but you can either take out the trainers or do the rock puzzle. I'm gonna take out the trainers, but I'm gonna take out these trainers one on one. Because I do not trust double battles at this very moment in time. At all. I do not trust double battles at all right now. I've had enough of the double battles. We've had two killer double battles in two consecutive episodes, basically. Well, not two consecutive episodes, but in two of the last three episodes, we've had killer double battles that have taken team members, and I am. I've had it. I, I've had it up to about here. All right, with the killer double battles, I am not taking out any more of those for right now. I am taking a break. Oh, a pincer. Well, Stormfly can come in and take, take this pincer out. I'll just fly it. I could have gone uh, Amaterasu, but I think I'll just go with uh, Stormfly and uh, fly it. It looks to be a one and done situation here. Rather, not really a one and done. It's more of a two and done. Two turn attack. Oh, and it didn't even kill it. Great. Uh, Dragon Breath. 
Just knock it out with the last little bit there. Come on, take that off. Take that down. See you later. Peace de resistance. Get out of my house. All right, come on, Aqua One. Aqua Grunny. Oh, this is, uh, what's your face? This is Shelly. Shelly back for more. Yep, she was talking about the Weather Institute. It is Shelly. She's got a victory bell. A victory belly for Shelly. Uh, let's switch out to Amaterasu. Amaterasu. Oh, a sweet scenting. Victory bell. Okay. Uh, Ember is going to do how much? More than I thought. That charcoal must really be helping. That charcoal really must be helping Amaterasu. But. I think Amaterasu's time on the team is about done again. Because I am going back to another fire type as we just caught one. We're getting Amaterasu some time. But again, in this game, Nine Tails is not the greatest. Especially if you catch it as a Nine Tails, which I did. You need to keep it as a uh, Vulpix to learn Flamethrower for it to really be any uh, any good. So for this Vibrava, I'm gonna go with Silver because if I go uh, Stormfly, I have I, ri I run the risk of getting hit with a Dragon Loot myself, and I don't want to do that. So we'll just go silver, and we will just um, surf it, I guess. It's neutral, but it should do enough. Oh, wow, just barely missed out. We'll live that. Yeah, we'll eat that up. Barely did a thing. Barely did a thing. All right. Level 37. Guys, we're getting up there in the levels. Those levels are starting to creep up towards 40. Ever so slowly. We're getting to that threshold here very soon. Very, very soon. Okay. Now we got this rock puzzle. So let's, uh... It's up, over to the left, over to the right, side, and then kick the boulder. And then same thing here. Bop, bop, and then bop, bop, and bop. And then what I like to do is just OCD. There you go. Everything's good. Now we're in a seafloor cavern. Ice Punch, which is normally... Is this normally Earthquake? This might normally be Earthquake. So Ice Punch is actually good. Yes. No. Ice Punch. What is Ice Punch? What is this normally? I don't know what this move here is normally. Earthquake's in not in this move. Earthquake's not here. Earthquake's somewhere else. I don't know what that normally is. Huh. Anyway... Sea Floor Cavern! Kyogre sleeps! But Archie is going to be coming up behind us here in a second. I have to heal up. Um, I don't know what I have. I have some soda pops I can use. That's fine. Use the rest of these up. And that'll clear another spot on my item. Bag inventory thing, and let's go! Hold it right there! Ha ha ha! So it was you after all! Behold! See how beautiful it is! The sleeping form of the ancient Pokemon Kyogre! I've waited so long for this day to come! It surprises me how much you've managed to chase me here! But it's all over now! For the realization of my dream, you must disappear! No! Alright! Aqua Leader Archie has a Waylord! An actual Aqua Leader Archie actually has a water type Waylord, which he should have probably had in the original games. I thought, man, Team Aqua should have had Waylords. It would have been way better than having Sharpedos, but we are probably going to stay in here and just Razor Leaf Waylord. I think we're just going to stay in. A lot of HP on this beast, though. You know that much. And he's just going to miss. Dropping that mist, boys. Waylord is doing nothing. Nothing scary here. Um, uh, one more razor leaf. Oh, and he's gonna heal. There he goes. 
I forgot. Archie heals in the yellow. That's right. That is very correct. Archie heals in the yellow. Archie heals in the yellow, and he probably shouldn't, but... Because that super potion did not heal him all the way up. Wow. Wow! We're getting lucky here, guys. We're getting some luck. We're getting some luck. Got the razor leaf. On the quagsire. Get out. All right. We're getting lucky here. We're getting lucky here. Two water types. One was water ground. What do you have to close it out? A Zangoose. Jawbreaker's vital throw is going to finish this thing. <coughs> Excuse me. This is it. <clears throat> Pardon me. <laughs> I feel like I have like a hunk of moussaka caught in my throat. Huh? Huh? All right. Vital throw. Here we go. This will do it. I think my more... <coughs> You know what it is? My Archie voice. My Archie voice hurt my throat. Ugh. God. I have to do that voice one more time, at least for right now, in this episode. I have to do this voice one more time right now. Down goes Zangus. That's it, folks. That is it. <clears throat> what? I lost to a mere child? Yes, you did. Ha ha ha! I commend you. I must recognize that you're truly gifted. But I have this in my possession. With this red orb, I can make Kyogre. What? I didn't do anything. Why did the red orb... Where did Kyogre go? Hmm, it's a message from our members outside. Ah, yes, what is it? Hmm, it's raining heavily? Good, that should have happened. That is why we awakened Kyogre, to realize Team Aqua's vision of expanding the sea. What? It's raining far harder than we have envisioned. You're in danger? That can't be! That's just not possible. Hold your position and monitor the situation. There's something wrong. The red orb is supposed to awaken, Kyle, awaken and control Kyogre. But why? Why did Kyogre disappear? Why? What have you wrought? Archie, you finally awoken Kyogre, haven't you? What will happen to this world if this downpour continues for all eternity? The world's landmass will drown in the deepening sea. What? Don't get all high and mighty with me! Wasn't it you, Team Magma, that infuriated Groudon? So as long as I have this red orb, I should be able to control Kyogre. I should be able to control it. We don't have time to argue about it here. Get outside and see for yourself. See if what you've wrought is the world we desired. Paul, you come on. You have to get out of here, too. What happened? What is this wretched scene? Did I make a horrible mistake? I... I only wanted... Do you understand now, Archie? Do you finally see how disastrous your dream turned out to be? We have to hurry. We have to do something before the situation goes completely out of control. Paul, don't say anything. Excuse you, but I... I'm just right here. How dare you insinuate that I would say something? I know that I have no right to be critical of Archie. But the way things are now, I doubt that we humans will be capable of doing anything about it. But neither can we stand by and just watch helplessly. The responsibility for putting an end to this falls to Archie and me. This defies belief. Those super ancient Pokemon. Their power is unbelievable. And they've upset the balance of nature. All right, well, so we're in the midst of something. Paul, what is happening? This is terrible. After the scorching heat we ended, the deluge began. If this doesn't stop, all of Hoenn know the whole world will drown. This huge rain cloud is spreading from atop Sutopolis. What in the world is taking place there? There's no point in arguing. Sutopolis might provide answers. Paul, I don't know what you intend to do, but I don't, don't do anything reckless. Okay, I'm going to Sutopolis. All right, guys. That's where we're gonna end it. 
in the midst of a storm, in the midst of Kyogre and Groudon being set loose and set free, and, and they're out ravaging the world. We're gonna end it right here. Catch you guys next time. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Notifications on. Next episode right here. We are going to find a way to stop this disaster. Whatever you want to call this. Rain, super sun, super rain. We got to find a way to end it. We're going to do it right now next time. Right next time on Paul Asi. I can't wait to see you then. We're getting to the end of this game. We're right in the middle of the story. Don't leave now. You can't stop now. Got to keep watching. I will catch you next time right here on Paul Asi.